a good point. But either way, you it know, they wanted to take a, out the Echo, so... It did turn into a 6-6 six, six tie yeah. last night. Pretty exciting. I hope you guys get to watch it later. But we'll take a look at our community vote, as we're always interested in seeing what you guys think. And not surprising at all, the huge... This is why Black Dragon stuck to Rainbow Six Siege. It's because they realized that there's so much fan momentum behind yeah. them. Um, they they kind of they, they cannot leave you know yeah. I'm gonna re repeat it literally every single show you can check out any time you like but you can never leave and that's pretty much I like the song I like music it's a very long song so it's not surprising you keep like, going on about it I sang it at my graduation one of the few I sang actually so you never left all right I'm gonna leave this uh, this here desk. <laughs> All right, well, we will be soon because I think we're almost ready to get started. No, we're still waiting for one more player. I'm not going to leave. Well, I mean, virtually to the Vir game. Virtual. The game. Virtu we'll virtually leave to Clubhouse via the camera as our avatar. No, you guys don't know this, but we actually do leave. No, Clubhouse. we literally, yeah, we walk all the way over to Clubhouse. And uh, we're the Just like Valkyrie could throw her cameras to the other map. Like, yeah. she's in Clubhouse, she's throw the to Villa. Well, that's yeah. exactly. We got Yida to the. To yeah, the no, the, the, uh, the flying over is an actual drone, like we're just using. I wonder if that would actually be possible. Well, you wouldn't be able to see through the I've roof. Seen, to... You've seen the live action. Okay, before we went to Brazil, there was a live action um, quote-unquote movie that was made by the French. And it was fantastic because these are like big French YouTubers yeah. that were in it. That was good. And these are people that I used to watch back in the day. So seeing them all together making this wonderful video about like a storyline within House, yeah. which is obviously the best Pro League map ever made, it it really is sweet seeing like all of these things that could actually turn into reality for uh, professional Rainbow Six, and Rainbow Six in general, really. Yeah. There's so much content to be created around it. Well, it is It is a game based off of fiction that was based off of reality, so. Yeah, where literally the, the like, six chapters are dedicated to describing the weapons of the operators. Yeah, no, a fantastic Tom Clancy book, but is, a definitely detailed book. Yes, I actually have yet to read the book, mm, or the series of books. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a good game series as well that goes back to the original Rainbow Six and yes. quite a good game. 1998 for the very first one. I saw, I saw, because um, everybody's doing the 2009 versus 2019 challenge. Oh, okay. I, Apparently. <laughs> it was on social media everywhere. I know you're not a guru, <laughs> but everybody's been doing it. And I kind of looked back at some of the pictures that I had. I'm like, wow, what changed? What happened? I'll be like, wow, that was what it was like to be 20-something. Yeah. What do you mean 20-something? I was like 15. No, for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> but Justin did post a picture. You be Justin, that is. And it it was about like 1998 with the OG Rainbow Six versus 2019 yeah. Rainbow Six Siege. And it's like, hmm. Yeah. That was... Even Wilkie was like, T-Hunt was so much better back then. <laughs> well, either way, either way, I, I definitely would like to see some of the, uh, the old features of that, you know, someday again, because it was, it was definitely a good game. And it's a good series, but this is definitely a different take on it, I think. So. Very true, very true. That's I don't thing. believe any of these characters were in the books, so. Your maestro wasn't, like... <laughs> no, I believe this is all new lore. Eventually, there will be a novelization, I imagine, of this game. I hope somebody makes that. There, there has to be at some point. Maestro fan fiction. I'm in a professional novelization. <laughs> not uh, <laughs> not you in, in Word for two hours. I'd like that. I know. I'd pay money for that. No, I would Go fund me. <laughs> All right. Well, we are getting ready for yeah. Clubhouse. Get close. Our, our first match of the day, we, we are waiting. It's We're on different schedules. Uh, Latin America has their own interviews, pre-game, post-game. Which obviously you're not seeing because they're in Portuguese. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, our language is... Language... Barrier? Say, barrier. Yeah. It, it's very high. And uh, we are unfortunately not qualified enough for that sort of thing. As much as sometimes we tend to deceive you on that sort of, uh, on that level, it seems like Portuguese is the bane of our existence when it comes yeah. to being able to translate. Surprise, there's a language you don't speak. <laughs> Good thing I don't reply to you in a language you don't understand. <laughs> you try. One day. <coughs> Sign language. <laughs> well, at least we have everyone in here, so it's just a yes. moment before we get in. But uh, Clubhouse, as I said, has been an interesting map for Latin America. And I want to say because Latin America has not been super efficient at playing Clubhouse, at least in the past. Yeah. And I'm really intrigued to see what has changed because it's always fun to not only compare the the way that teams play the map mm -hmm. within the same region, 
but also how things work between different regions because yeah. there's always these small differences that you only will see in online play days in the same region and not an international play. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely a case where, like, roams are something you'll see a lot more of, I think, in Latin America than other regions. That doesn't mean there isn't certain people like Mint that'll be like, hey, I'll just hang out in the bathroom most of the time. But Let's play Cav. It, it's certainly, uh, I mean, playing a Brazilian operator. So, surprising that that's not a Latin American strategy. I mean, it's definitely a case where, like, they were the region to be playing Kavir first. But Habana going to be the first to ban. So, uh, will we get a double hard breacher ban and see Maverick go as well? It would make a lot of sense. It's definitely possible. Moment. Although, you know, maybe Maverick's just not a big problem for them. And Glaz certainly is in this region oh, man. for a lot of uh, teams. Anyone who doesn't have a super strong Glaz should always consider banning it against most Latin American teams. I mean, it, it would make sense. You really don't want to need, like, deal with GCR or something with a. Uh, yeah. Playing on Glaz, definitely. Not a fun thing to encounter. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And Mira Band here, I'm, I want to say Clubhouse as well as Consulate are two maps where I'm like, maybe you shouldn't be banning Mira. It's not usually a big deal these mm -hmm. days. So uh, it seems like not super useful, but Echo being banned, as I mentioned earlier, not a surprise as it's pretty consistently banned for Latin America at the moment. In fact, uh, I mean, it was only banned once, uh, I think during week one, play day one, but like I said, consistently for play day two. So we'll see though, Church is gonna be the starting place here, which uh, has kind of become the norm uh, it was only briefly not the norm, really. Yes. It was it was always the norm for a long time. They revamped the clubhouse. Cash became a thing. Jim actually became kind of the secondary temporarily as well, as, especially when the impact tricks were working. Yes. People were trying to figure out what they could get away with and what they couldn't. But cash was actually not very consistently working most of the time. No. So it's not a surprise to see it get it dropped like off. It almost never worked. No, it was, it was the garage definitely became a big problem for it. We saw a lot of like Monty pushes and stuff. We still see those. But uh, they're more successful now than they used to be, I think. Hmm. Well, I'm interested in seeing how things go here in the church. Valkyrie will be uh, in play, which is pretty interesting. I remember back in the day, Latin America battery. used to run a lot of shotgun on the Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, it definitely there were quite a few teams that did when, this, when the Spaz was think, the way to uh, go. Sisu back then used to play it quite considerably. I don't know. Yeah. We're, I think we're... <laughs> We're reminiscing. On think, a lot yeah, of those getting days. nostalgic about the shotgun days. Yeah, that's not gonna, not no, gonna happen I'm, for me. I'm, yeah, I'm very happy that <laughs> they're not a thing anymore. I've moved on. Yeah, maybe we sh we all should. You know, yeah. haha. German operators know it. Please, for the love of God, move on. It's like one of those stages of relationship. Ten but, seconds. Uh, the three. maestro here, Revolt, is actually gonna set up. He already has one evil eye out, and I would assume that it's left. been. Um, He's calling for an ADS, that's good. Make sure he has that. So he has one evil eye that'll watch on the hallway, and the second one he's gonna put it in the back in the stock room. No. There's a few spots you can... He's gonna put it on the jukebox. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I get it. He, usually, uh, we used to see um, Goddess, for example, would destroy any equipment that's on the table next to the jukebox and actually set the... Uh, Evil Eye on it, it's more difficult to spot and to take out. It's a pretty pretty smart position, I have to say. Let's see. What we get here as far as the attack, they're going to go actually for a top-down clear first. Good start there, is they are not just running into bar and potentially running into any roamers, but hopefully they drone to the rest of the top floor, as it looks like right now. He's just kind of sticky on the stairs, which is not exactly a safe position to be in, unless Buck successfully cleared cash first. Because, of course, people can rotate around on you through bedroom, which they could also be in, same with office. Ryan has already set up his drone, so it can give him information from the blue stairs. And the Jackals track the Jaeger, I believe. They're playing in the back. That's FK1. Just switch around and move into the bomb has been located. Blue stairs. In the meantime, I will continue to drone. It's very interesting how Payne went for the clear in the top floor first before they moved in. the wall and even the top part of the floorboard here in the kitchen. There's nobody from below to reply, though. There, there, there are two C4s available on Black Dragon, something Attackers that, have located uh, a bomb. Or, excuse me, for pain that Black Dragons will have to watch out for. Nope. There you go. Ion. Get the first one, and those holes working out very, very well. Of course, he lost half his health, but definitely worth it. I mean, he did enough damage to set it up for some kills, opened up a lot of the wall, but a lot of the wall's not reinforced, and that's that's oh. more of a Latin American thing. They do a lot less reinforcing overall to give themselves the flexibility to be able to fight the way they want to mid-game. But we saw this so many times now that the wall in the hallway yeah. is soft. 
and it's not just stopped, but it's already been destroyed by the bucket. Yeah, you don't need an ash to do that. You can bucket from above, so. Yeah, if, f fairly relative safety, I have to say. So now there's a lot of options for Black Dragons to move in if required. And we'll just have to Ooh. decide on which one to go for. They're trying to time the C4 here as the Meister is in nice the back done. and connect GDN. We'll go down and it's a huge pick. That's, that's on the only hard reach available. Yeah, they can't get into that church wall now. But at least spawns going down in the meantime. So they're still winning this attack pretty heavily with just Meister left. Beautiful double play, but again, that hole in the wall will do so much work. Now Panico holding the opposite end, and he still has a teammate that already went into the armory. And that was all the clear that they required. Round number one will go the way of the attack, even with the fact. The defense got a perfect pick on the thermite. And something we have to recognize in that position is that even when there wasn't a ton of time left and the thermite was lost, it didn't take long for the call the execution mm -hmm. to happen. I mean, execution is a good term for it at that point. It, it was definitely a case of like, like you said, a lot was open. They had plenty of flexibility. Yeah, they couldn't open the church wall, but it's not like there was a mirror there or anything that was watching them because that was banned. So they just had to go for the C4 throw. Now that did benefit them in the C4 throw working, taking down that hard preacher. But at the same time, it was a case of, well, maybe too little too late at that point as you hadn't reinforced a whole lot else. And it's not due to lack of reinforcements. They weren't reinforcing so many things. They lacked it. It's just... It's, again, it's a stylistic thing to give themselves more options, more fluidity, but at the same time, you're also doing the same thing for the attackers. You really have to do that, the more considered thing. In fact, I believe it was an interview uh, where you were talking about, you know, asking why do, why is that not reinforced during North America? And he was like, well, anything can work. I think it was I think it was Yeti saying that. Anything can work. Uh, it just how it's just, do you, it's, like how do you it. play it, exactly. In, in this case of like, well, yes, but is the thing, are you giving them the option to play it better than you can? More often than not, I have to say, yeah. I, I would love to have some sort of statistics remaining. here, statistic to pop up and tell me that I'm right. That would be a hard one to be like, how many times is this wall, you know, soft and how often there is that There you go, GG. Challenge I mean, <laughs> given. I hope they accept it because yeah. this is definitely a statistic that I would love to have. Yeah. Uh, as I do tend to harp on and on and on and on about uh, that wall specifically. Name a more iconic door, right? <laughs> Milosh and repeating. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, well, Panico will continue on to drone in the strip club. He'll have information to confirm there is nobody up on the top floor. Came to the bathroom, inside a pool table, no one in there. GDN will also clear the top floor. The problem with um, Clubhouse for a lot of teams is that it's such a big map that unless you're very coordinated and, what do you say, trained in the art of clearing the map with your drones, it would take you way too long. Mm -hmm. So the whole team has to really do their thing and allow one another to enter the map or the yeah. enter the building itself without having to worry about opponents. Here's what doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. Did you see how many resources they dedicated to the dirt tunnel? Yeah. If Habana is banned, guess what Thermite's going to be using his breach charges on? At the very least, one hatch. And at that point, saving either one for the church wall, which is most likely the case last round, or getting two hatches, which is also a good thing a to do. Because the hatches are just too valuable, especially that one right there, GDN, waiting for uh, maybe Ion to do a little damage first, start to buck above before he goes to open it, because if you, well, you want to make sure no one's just below the hatch going to C4 or trying to impact Nate. But again, this is they, they had an ADS, they had barbed wire, they had uh, smoke sitting there. Ooh, nice initial kill there. But, that's, uh, a, that's a beautiful trade, actually. Yeah. The Ash and the Hager clearing one another Seems out. appropriate. Now, that wall opened again fully. And now what? here's the big problem is that, well, sure, you, you killed you killed the Ash, but you lost the Jaeger, and you already had ADSs in the tunnel. Yeah, he can't reposition it now. For, yeah, that, again, it just seems like a bit of a mistake in terms of dedicating resources when it's unlikely to be pushed. And even then, you're not going to stop it. You're just going to be delaying at the very least. No, he's still waiting for a push from that side. There, you just heard the second thermite go off. Yeah. Oh, no, that was, uh, no, I'm sorry, that was the... Did there, they stop both, it? Both charges have been used. It looks like they might have stopped the kitchen one. It looked like the hatch might have still been reinforced. It was hard to see, uh, to be 100% sure. Of course, we don't have our own... Yeah, no, you here, can't hear us. Yeah, which means we can't really no, get the deets oh. on it. C4 in, and this should be an easy one. What is Hugzor doing there? Just standing out in the open and holding... At least it wasn't home. thermite this time. Very Not odd that it matters now. Yeah, it's very true. Ion still watching in, preparing for the push of Gabrielos, but spawns will go down. GCR coming in. Low on health, still on the mute. 
Hunt is a 2v3. Equal in health, that's for sure. Coming in from behind, Panico will find one. He'll turn around to face the hallway as GDN will go in for the plant. The Maestro can't really do anything in this situation. They're getting the information, but it's not enough to clear this plant as it will go down for Black Dragon. Shotgun has already been heard in the back. A revolt in the back of the armory holds fire in and more damage being done to GDN, but Panico will find one. Now they know where Revolt is. Still more damage exchanged onto GDN. Flash, though, should be Revolt's uh, ultimate demise here as he's now getting lower and lower on health. Flashed in for a bit, but it'll push in close to his opponent. So spray with so much ammo still left in the magazine, and Panico finally, finally finds the kill from Blue, and that's the clear they need. It's, I mean, I was just talking about how this game at the moment is fairly defensive sided. This map, especially fairly defensive sided, and Latin America generally is on this map more defensive sided. But these defensive setups from Pain are just. They're misplays in themselves. I mean, the, the C4 over the wall is so far the only consistently decent thing I've seen coming out of pain on these defenses, other than just maybe the Jaeger trade for the Ash. But it's like, that actually wasn't worth it because an early Ash kill is, is not super valuable more often than not because Ash is, is somewhat of a sacrificial operator to come on in. And if you can get away with stuff, great. If you can at least help your team take most of the map, great. Like, it's, it's not a huge trade. And the fact that the Jaeger died, as you said, could not reposition things. They're going to try Church a third time. Are they going to make any adaptions? Honestly, if they don't adapt anything at this point, they, they deserve to use deserve to lose this defense yet again. They are going to bring the Pulse this time to have a little more intel, though. I got to wonder, though, will they be trying to counter Ion opening up holes in the floor inside of Kitchen or not? I mean, that is often, you know, the Pulse play. It could be the case where he just holds a position inside of church to go. looking for the opportunity to make sure that c4 hits again if you see the top of that wall open though i gotta say if you're bd maybe not stand right there anymore when you see the top of the wall open maybe i don't know go into moto i think you probably shouldn't be playing the site at this point yeah this is definitely not a site that's been working out for them it is interesting to see them try it a third time to be fair they got a lot closer to winning it that last time yeah but I'd imagine if they if they lose it round three and then they still go for it, I'm like, guys, hey, look. Yeah. You know the definition of insanity. Like, <laughs> what I disagree with, though, is taking out the Maestro because Maestro is such a strong operator, mm -hmm. especially with Echo out of play, that just, I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly feel like you're going to get more mileage out of the Maestro than you would out of a Pulse. And I think the biggest... Especially with an IQ on play. Uh -huh, indeed. And I think the biggest problem in the previous round, something you highlighted very distinctly, that there was so much utility in play in that tunnel that it didn't really allow for any flexibility later on in the round. It just I mean, the upside was that the smoke was able to at least stay alive, but yeah. it's like, what what is that worth? You know? At what cost? Yeah, he wasn't able to do a, a significant amount later on. He was able to get the one kill from Moto. There you go. There, there you go. It's going to spray on him, and 25 damage done to the pulse. At least it'll oh, force him for free. Yeah. Well, it's funny that he hadn't got that camera yet. But yeah, now Pulse is going to be out of out of position because he can't stay there anymore, which now gives the opportunity to uh, take out Kitchen. But surprisingly, Buck actually working his way potentially into blue instead. But uh, we did see him clearing that early later on. So he may just be doing that right now while I Blacks just kind of keeps things held down in the Upon kitchen area, make sure that the Pulse is going to be getting any kind of position. But they're not opening up any holes here. Is GDN going to go for Tunnel? I think he is. I mean, might as well if they're just, it, it, at this point, they probably will shift their resources. We saw them move around, and again, we're, we're running with, like, a Latin America observer, so they can't really hear Attackers us, so we can focus on these sorts of things. Well, they did put the barbed wire in there, but it looks like maybe not the ADS oh, okay, this time. So it's still two barbed wire, though. But they don't even have to go into dirt, necessarily. They could just kind of keep them busy. I wonder why there's no Maverick in play. Just try and destroy some extra parts of the map here. Great shot from FK1 to take down Ion, and that's definitely an entry that Pain have required because it's been very painful for them to try to stop Black Dragons once they get the motions rolling. Yeah, I'm not sure I feel this blue and dirt uh, push attempt here. So far, I mean, losing Ion is definitely a big problem because they didn't open up anything on the floors. They didn't really make use of a skeleton key. Now, this is why they have GDN coming in. See, two smoke canisters have already been expended. I wonder if Gabrielos has one more in the back. ADSs will get burned here by the stun grenades. There you go. That's the last smoke canister. FK1 will find another one on Panico, and that is what was required. A shotgun to the face as Gabrielos takes down GDN. 
Now all up to eye blacks as Hugzord will go down. And the IQ will try to save the day. Finally, the round working in the way of pain is FK1. From above, we'll find it just rotated all the way around and spray this entire magazine into the IQ. And there you go, that's all that's required. Pretty, uh... Pretty I mean, quick. that time it wasn't so much that uh, Payne had a better defense, it's that the Black Dragons just chose the wrong attack. I mean, I have to imagine it was either due to them wanting to surprise or due to them seeing something on their droning that made them make that call, that their IGL was like, you know what, let's go this way. But again, what's the point of sending a buck down the tunnel except for maybe grenades? But you know there's a Jaeger in play. There's a good chance. If you don't have someone with you to burn an ADS, you're not going to get any mileage out of the grenades anyways. So you're not getting anything out of the skeleton key. You're potentially not getting anything out of the grenades. You're putting yourself in a situation where if no one's flanking from the stairs, you're probably just walking into a trap to an extent. And that's exactly what happened. It was just... It was not a good position. You lost him early on. You did nothing really from above for the most part in terms of putting pressure on other than the IQ shooting the pulse a little bit. I don't know. It just seemed like you, you a little have bit of a mistake. To, you have to wonder about the decision making that uh, is going on there. It's, it's and I'm not saying they're making bad decisions. I'm saying they're making decisions that don't seem to fit the situations that they're being presented with. Yeah. And not really being flexible during their own itself. It's, it's kind of... Well, they are going to have the Pulse and the Meister this time. So this should be interesting to see how that's going to work upstairs. It is very helpful, of course, to have Evil Eye in Garage, for example. Very typical thing to have, as well as one somewhere on site to be able to have some idea if there's a smoke plant coming, which definitely is a possibility as Hugzord is going to be running the smokes on that Jackal. So definitely could come out. One change up from the attack, for the most part, is going to be uh, Iblax bringing that Twitch. Should be interesting. They're also going to have the Thatcher, of course, to be able to open up. As they know, of course, now that the uh, church has been won, they're going to be playing upstairs. But guess what? No mute or bandits. You don't necessarily need it. I mean, it still could be helpful. You temporarily disable Pulse. You temporarily disable Maestro's Evil Eyes. You could potentially take out some of the Black Eyes and some ADSs, but it's still not directly countering anything very important. You just might take out some site utility. I have to wonder also, you know, this. you mentioned that no bandit, no mute. And it's kind of just Kane saying, you know what, you want to take the wall? This is such a it. very different region yeah, than it, EU and NA, really. Because, I mean, and I don't mean that in any uh, well, negative or positive way. Just it's just it, it always is. It's, it's always, NA and EU tend to be a lot more Jackers similar in Latin America. It's like it says, Black Dragons have find the boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> they found it. They found him. <laughs> All right. Well, I am getting good mileage out of a scout and key in, the, in some sense, at least this round, but they do oh, want to clear some ADS if he wants to nade down there at all. But they got the wall open already because, as we were talking about, nothing to oppose that, which sets them up for a potential smoke plant. They could go in and clear ADSs with the, the shock drones if need be, and then give them the opportunity to smoke plant it. I imagine they could also clear ADSs just with flashes from GDN. Now the question is, where will the second charge GDN be used? Is it going to be on the site in construction, or is he going to use it more for garage? Which would make a lot of sense. This way you can also fight against players in stairs, fight against the maestro that is playing upstairs in the garage. Yeah. There's a lot of things that you can do in this one, and a lot of flexibility, but... Yeah. You just got to be careful, because often, if you open it with a, a thermite, you're going to set yourself up to have someone watch that angle on yeah. you, and you could be walking to... Wow, they are wow. really stacked up right here. That's that's a Zerg rush of ours. They are just, this is retake. This is full retake strat right here. They are waiting for the push to come in because they know it has to come in from the, the server room or the garage. So they're just stacked up on this side because they know a push is very unlikely to come from that side. And then of course, Revolt's setting up four potential C4 plays later on, as well as uh, to be able to call them out for spawns. So, I mean, they're not in the worst position. Either. Both teams are in fairly decent positions yeah. right now. It's just going to be who makes the first mistake and starts losing some of their players. Most likely to steamroll, but time does burn out for the attackers while the defenders get to uh, gain advantage from it. Very true. True words have never been said. Grenade's going to be cooked up here in the back, and of course, ADS has already been burned, which means there will be nothing to catch the grenade as it gets thrown in, but it does no damage, unfortunately, for the attacking side. And you know what damage? Still gets some C4. It's knocking at your door, and spawns will find one GCR. The second ion, at least, will get a refrag on FK1, but that would call... Kill. They lost Great. their smokes now. And that's two kills. That's the exact two that they required for this one. Revox will come in. He'll find one kill. It spawns. will win it out against Ion. What is, what is this fight that is going on? Fire is the QE spam from Iblax on the Twitch. We'll try to find the kill in the back. Pulls out the P9. 
He fires in the back, but you already see that diffuser's on the floor and there's no time left. The defense of Payton Gaming will take it and that was just... Unfortunately, I gotta wonder if maybe the, the drone economy, as we like to call it, was not doing so great for Black Dragons because what won Payne that round? Holding back, staying outside of the room, not giving them any free picks. Then they got a few good kills. I mean, the, the kill on the Thatcher, no big deal. That was a C4 kill, you know, not the worst. It was a situation where it was just because, well, they couldn't get good pressure on pain to keep them back from any potential C4 throws. But whatever, you didn't need the Thatcher so much at that point. You really needed the Jackal. Jackal getting killed, that was a big mistake. They really needed to take some time. They still had about a minute left to drone that out first, to go, okay, we have some idea where they're at. You're, not, you're probably going to lose a drone pushing them where they were, right? Because they're all holed up. They're going to see that drone pretty quickly. But you get some idea, okay, we know they're in there. We need to put pressure from a different side and, and try and find a ah. better way to attack that. Now, Maverick coming out here is a good choice, but guess what site they're on? You would, you would think Jim, but nope. We're going to get bot. Why? <laughs> We're going to get the bot the, site with 0% win rate. The, the ultimate tomfoolery. Oh, they, it's possible it's not 0% win rate, but I'm pretty sure. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to think back at... I just don't want to be 100% if somehow there was like even, one win that I'm Even when Dirk Zero was SK gaming in the past. You remember when, when the game still counted the, the ticks in a certain way with the 0-0? Zero, zero? Mm -hmm. It like added an extra second and a half or something like that. Yeah. When when Nyx clutched on IQ, which definitely shouldn't have worked against Fox. <laughs> Ten seconds to start. Yeah, that was the the time where it w it got played for the first time ever. Yeah. Uh, realistically, and then it still was not one out. It was played also a couple of days ago. Yeah. And it still didn't work out in no way, shape, or form. And I think the the best way I, I don't remember who said it, but I remember when I was reviewing the bots and I had someone telling me about this. Uh, one of the pros. North America, they're like the big problem with uh, with the site is just. And that, that was Yeti actually. It was an interview with Yeti a couple nights ago. I don't know what I'm. Thinking that if you it. take that if you take stock, it's, it's just, just the just same the thing cash, as before. I mean, it yeah. doesn't really change at all. The upside of the way the Black Dragons are bringing their operators, which were probably not prepared for this site, is the Maverick now can go to the pool side from the strip club, open up a few little peak holes with an ACOG, play it a little bit far back, and actually have a potential to catch them off guard because they're going to be focused on defending stock. You might catch someone in the back if you don't overplay your hand too early because you don't really have to take control of anywhere upstairs to yeah. make that play. Very true, but just in case there was any sort of upstairs play from the attacking side of Black Dragons, there's already revolts and the squad here. They're trying to hold on. They, yeah, and they, they see that someone is on the roof. So exactly. they, know, they know somewhat where that revolt's going to stay alive for a long period here. That definitely will uh, be kind of a problem for Black Dragons to get some kind of advantage upstairs. You do need to take top floor control to make this work. The sidewall is also soft. You know, they just... They look, almost like they called out to you don't, reinforce it. I don't know if they even used all their reinforcements. I mean, I wish we could see. I, like I said, I feel like they're, uh, you know, it's just very common in Latin America to have some in your pocket. I'm so confused. Well, I Black's trying to take the top floor control. Again, I don't think he should be. There was hatches were already open. He didn't need to do anything with his, you know, Maverick ability upstairs. Take advantage of the strip club wall being undefended. I mean, it's possibly he already opened some holes, but realistically, I doubt it. I don't think he was also, I don't think he was running with an ACOG either. No. So. That's holographic. He wouldn't be able to play back on those holes. But he is going to get contested here and lose the fight just due to the fact that he didn't have an idea where they were. And guess who did? Pulse. And I'm not sure if the Pulse even used the C4 there to open up the closet for him to, to allow FK1 to go in for that fight against Ilax. Well, now still Ponico coming in from the side. Bit of extra damage? No, none taken actually by the smoke. FK1 will find another one on Ion. Now you lose the buck, you lose two huge operators and the top floor control. The Thermite suddenly doesn't seem like a good operator to have in this situation. And yeah, sure, you're in kitchen, you take in control of the stairs, but top and bottom, they're all held by the defenders. They're going to try to walk in and plant in the side of the bar, but they have to watch for the stairway. There you go. Definitely not a stairway to heaven. Panico will find one. Spawns will go down. The Jaeger of FK1 is still above, and the diffuser somehow has been planted against all odds. I That's an unusual way to attack the site. That's true. FK1 will fire in and can't really find the kill on Hugsword. Hugsword will fall back, fires back into the pulse. Revolt is ready. Gabrielos with the second. GDN will spray, and he has control here of the kitchen, but it's not enough, and FK1 will find one more. The plant does, did go down here for the attacking side of Black Dragons, but Pain will bring it home. In a round like that, sometimes I wonder why the attackers even had guns. 
I don't think they hit anything. Well, they killed a guy, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, one guy. It was just like you, you saw every time we were spectating them, they were doing nothing but just setting bullets past, breezing like it's just it's just suppressive fire. I guess at this point it was just, but they seem really off their game in terms of hitting shots in that situation. Might have just been kind of uh, caught off guard in a lot of ways by the bomb site and, not, and, and really struggled with that. But they seemed to find a way to go for the plant. They had a good job. You saw the thermite with the drone inside of the, the middle of the bar doing a good job checking around, making sure that the stairs were clear. Eventually even got the ping on the player on the stairwell so that they knew. But again, they still took the fights in a very strange way. And Black Dragons, you only get one sixth pick, so one of those are going to have to stick. Uh, I think oh, they're calling like for a rehost because there was a Nomad pick, then you can't do that. Yeah, this is definitely not a uh, great pick. I don't know why we would go for I don't understand Portuguese that well. Yeah. that That's literally my only... What I know is this is definitely not uh, what's supposed to be happening here for these guys. So they will uh, just go for that rehost, I imagine. I am perplexed. If there was ever a better word yeah. to describe my situation right now. There was, there's definitely a lot of perplexing things happening this match so far. And that was, a, I think, a good summary of them in one series of operators. It was, it was very exciting in terms of, hey, there's action and kills and stuff happening. But then you, when you start to just think about the strategies that are employed yeah. and how... And that's not to imply that there isn't thought behind the strategies from them. It's just we see them not working. We see what's going on. And it's... It, you know, we're calling it like it is in terms of like that's not the right way to do it as you can see yeah and it's not like oh it's an influence from other regions or whatever it's just you know you, you try to play a certain strategy to, to adapt to your teammates well what if it were your opponents so far we've seen like very how do you say very strict strategies adopted by the defense yeah and not really having any flexibility I yeah. bet I the first two they... rounds were very flexible from the attack yeah they won it and then at that third time the church was played, yeah. no adaptation, and then you play the same as before, even though you already had the information of yeah. how things were going down on the site. I, perplexing. Well, either way, it's uh, it's definitely good to see that pain where smartly a lot of times reserving themselves in later rounds that led to some victories. You saw them reserving themselves yeah. more in church most of the time, which was which was fine. They just were doing uh, were dedicating resources in kind of a strange way, which, in theory, I guess kind of worked uh, in the dirt tunnel that third time. But they also, uh, you know, were just making some, some weird choices. But in the end, at least they weren't over-aggressive most of the time. And that last one, yeah, they had people roaming upstairs. But that yeah. is a bomb site where you kind of need that. So it's not a case of like, oh, they're just, you know, they should be playing for more of a retic. No, you really need people up there. And you see why. Their ability, the ability now to be able to rotate to it. And this is a part of the reason why bar is so problematic is that top floor is, is more dynamic now. Yeah. I mean, more often than not, it still somewhat works in the favor of the attackers. But at the same time, like... You can kind of rotate a little bit better as defenders as well, potentially over between the sites. So you can't pe section people out of cash as easily as you could before. So cash isn't as easy to attack and take as it was previously. But if you need to take for an attack, you could dedicate a lot more resources to attacking cash to make sure you get it to go for that stock. You had a buck, nobody pushed through the servers, nobody went into cash. Well, if you yeah, if you have a buck, you, you, you send him to cash. You had everything and then... Uh, and well, of course, we are talking from experience from what we've seen work, yes. not in the case of like, this is theory craft. It's like, no, this is what works consistently in the past. To find the positivity so. in all of this, because hey, yeah. any smilers in chat. We're I think the positivity is, is Payne doing a good job yes. making some adaptations. And they got the three rounds on the board. Now, what you're looking for here, because of course we play till six on, on the defense, and then you switch around to the other yeah. side. If you get four rounds on the defense, that's the minimum when it comes to, you know, holding on to the defensive defensive side with four rounds, that's okay. Yeah. More is also a bonus, but because the map is a bit skewed towards the defense because of how it's set up and allows you to be flexible in your defense, it would make sense. Now, three rounds already. Uh, we were starting off with our sixth round, if I'm not mistaken, or three, two. Yeah, and and, uh, and now they can go back to church. Mm. So that's the nice thing is church is something that, I mean, technically <laughs> it's not a great site for them in that they've lost it two thirds yes. of the time, but at least they've got a better idea of like, okay, they've only got thermite. They can only do this limited ways. Pushing from blue is not something that works for them unless they find a way to make it work. They're bringing these consistent operators unless they change up who they're bringing. Also, maybe bringing pulse isn't always the best idea, but if we do, play them in church because that is the more consistent way to be able to survive as pulse. You could maybe try and play an early game uh, when you're playing him in, in, uh, inside the All arsenal. Right. 
Yeah. Or are, are we? Yeah. Simple. But if you see someone, back off, just in case, right? In case it's that IQ. You should be able to, to get some idea early on if it might be the IQ, because a lot of times you might be able to catch them on a cam if they come into the bar and they're shooting out the cam. Because if it's the IQ coming in first to shoot out that cam, a lot of times you will see them do that. Of course, uh, we'll resume in just a second here. Pain Gaming have three rounds versus the two of Black Dragons. Mm -hmm. We'll remind you, and Pain are still on the defense. So yeah. we, you just wonder which uh, site we'll be going to as we're just waiting for our last player to come back into the rehosted lobby. Yeah. As, uh, I guess there was some, some configuration error, and I believe both teams are ready to okay. go. So. Well, we just need uh, Black Dragons to maybe do a quick T-Hunt warm-up to be ready to have better aim this round, hopefully. <laughs> Definitely was. I don't the, know. Like, like they started round. out so well early yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, they were obviously had their aim early on in the game. I don't know what was going on that last round, but it was just miss after miss. It wasn't a case of like, oh, you know, there was tactical advantage to the defenders. It was like, no, you know where they are half the time. You're just losing your gunfights. So. Yeah, and you know, we, we don't like to talk about kills all the time here because the game is much deeper. Fortunately, once the fuser's planted, his killer bit killed, and they got the fuser planted. They did. They did that part just fine. So. Unfortunately, the follow-up was not there. Yeah. Well, either way, that was uh, down to positioning. They they knew where they could be attacked from. They knew where the defenders were. Just didn't win. again. Just didn't win the gunfights. So, so we're just gonna make sure everything's good, and then we'll get right back into the game here in just a yep. moment. Uh, but just hopefully a few seconds away from doing so for that final defensive round for Pain. Yeah. Well, again, as you mentioned, that is the final defensive round for Pain Gaming. They are up three to two, and just verifying that everything's okay. And so far. All is Gucci. So we should be heading in in any second now. Just making sure. Hopefully it's good. If you if you forgot which teams are playing. Touching it. <laughs> You're touching. Gonna change around. Well, there's a sneaky. You literally have a guy that just like pick. puts puts an extra board like on top of us. Yeah. It's like when you point at the phone number, call this number. <laughs> Six, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Don't, don't call that number. I don't know what number that's, 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 that's from the Blues Brothers. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought it was like it's a, a real song. Number. Yeah. Probably is a real number. Anyways, thank you guys for living through these uh, technical issues with us here. But everything is ready to go. And we are, of course, in round number six. Pain Gaming leading three to two against Black Dragons. Well, this sh should be an attack that Black Dragons can win. It is winnable for them. They have their utility for it. They're not going to bring the IQ this time. This just didn't work out for what they were trying to do, I suppose. But it would help against the Pulse again, potentially. Seconds left before insertion. And be, ha be able to have an idea if they, uh, they left are able to, or need, know if there's anything to uh, protect the church walls ahead of time. I mean, I guess if they start droning near it, they will see the mute jamming. But uh, it's interesting to see no bandit being played at all by the defense, despite playing two different sites. So, you know, there's four rounds in which Bandit would have been useful, potentially, just not being played. But they are bringing a Thatcher consistently and they don't want to do any kind of tricking, I guess. So, Mute Jammers are not the worst choice just because, well, you will get some of the same effect. They're good. I and mean, Mute, Mute's seen a, such a huge rise in popularity. Sure, it certainly has. And within the next couple of days, we'll have the uh, correct uh, correct statistics to show you, you know, to compare the operators. So this yeah. way we can we can all see them together and uh, dig into more of why things are the way they are. Yeah. The upside of the, what they're doing with the, uh, the Mute is they are getting to bring a shotgun. So the way they're playing is they have one shotgun in the tunnel from smoke mm -hmm. to be able to do the smoke delay and then shotgun when they get close, and then mute as well to be able to do his thing on the doorway from Moto if they try and come from that way because shotguns, well, they dominate that position. Mm -hmm. So You can play the angle by the cooler, yeah. so it allows you to just peek in when your opponent... Usually what we're seeing is, what? How do you take damage? Maybe did, from the thermite? Did he walk next to the charge? Oh, man. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't see just before the thermite charge whether or not uh, he had lost half his health or not, but he is definitely half health now, so... Not the greatest position to be in. Revolts, again, they're leaving that wall soft, but he's trying to do it for a reason. He's trying to set himself up to be able to C4 towards Moto if he needs to. But it's odd because there's already two C4s on the other side. You mentioned the Mute plays this in Church, mm -hmm. which is intriguing because while you already can counter through the, the wall above, you really need the extra pulse on the side because it opens you up to so many strategies. If they fall for this again... 
They need to not fall for that again. Because you know, I do understand your point in everybody's, which is, hey, well, you, you're going to leave it soft so you can fight it as well from the armory. Sure. sure. But, but the, the, I don't know if that's really worked so well. Yeah, but especially if you're going to have two C4s here and the wall that is ready just to... Oh, the wall actually up. getting open at the moment, and well, there's nothing you can do about it. That was interesting. They didn't okay. have enough sparks, but... So they are ready. They need to go for the shot complete. They're going for a C4 throw. It looked like might have actually but, even hit the C4 midair. Yeah, I'm not sure if it landed on the floor or not. We can't really hear it. I think he hit it midair as he was throwing it, just because he was throwing it kind of low. Flash into oh, the no, back. Oh, no, throw. No, GDN flashes, almost flashing himself there. The smoke will be given ample time to use his charge. Now, we'll see an extra smoke canister as well, landing right at the doorway. But there's 25 seconds on the clock. Panic will find one look at Revolt so low on health. You mentioned the shotgun of the mute. There's still three shells in the magazine, and they can definitely use that to their advantage here. The tube, that is. Panico and GDM will find a kill yeah, each, and nice one here to drop the diffuser on the floor. There's so little time left. They all have to fight the shotgun, and Hugsler will come around the corner on the jackal and find the headshot. DCR goes down, and Black Dragons will actually tie it up 3-3 three, three on the half. So we could end up going towards our third tie but I don't know man like this know. is this is a defense sided map you only get three rounds on the defense mm -hmm. when you're actually playing church uh, if I'm correct four times out of those six so yeah they played church four times they won it once one out of four not the greatest on the best bomb site on this map at the moment so yeah that is a uh, that is not great they did win cash and bar. So them winning bar, I guess, was uh, making up a little bit for them losing on the best bomb site by winning on the worst. So it will be that. We I are, don't think that... All, are all bomb sites created equal? Um, I believe can that we, does Can not we work. check, like, the, the R6 amendment? I'm pretty sure even if we were just playing in a grid with square rooms, it would, at some point, some bomb sites would not be That's equal. also a great song. You know it. It's from your days. From my days? Yeah, back before roots. we had instruments. <laughs> it was all synthesizers. We just played on bones. It was all th synthesizers. I don't yeah, know. True. Maybe yeah, some people in chat will times. recognize Square Rooms. Pretty good song. All right. There's music is nice. Isn't it? I can harp on and on and on about like the music and the audio and everything. Yeah. Which is weird. Why we Ten didn't hear away. or see the thermite charge going off in the previous round. It was a church attack, but. It was just Five a case where it was, a, and it could have even just been on the spectator side, just not seeing yeah, sparks. Yeah. But you could definitely hear it going off. Yeah, of course, spark plays for a as well. Someday, maybe back in Pro League. Yeah, they are They are going up uh, yeah. in, in the Invitational Qualifiers. I haven't checked what there's going on tonight. Maybe we'll have some sort of update by the end of the day. But that aside, Maverick has come into the garage. And that's, of course, FK1. The defense is downstairs. And I think having the Maverick just makes so much more sense. Well, we've seen... If you want to destroy the hatch, yeah. you can do it with two and a half charge. And we've seen teams doing it just fine in Latin America yes. even with... I, I believe uh, was... It, Maybe it was, I think, I almost feel like it was Ion. I don't remember exactly who it was. No, PX. I remember specifically doing it on uh, for a church attack, playing the Maverick inside the bar, opening the hatch. So. Seen it on bank as well. And, you know, obviously it's just, it's a, he's a very good operator. And, hey, you would like to use the Maverick for this sort of attack. It works out fine. And yeah. It means that Paint were expecting the site to, well, to deal with the site. For good reason, because yep. it is the site that you probably should be starting with. Of course, the two exothermic charts are still available. I'm not sure why Gabrielos is on his own. Bad time. Um, well, there you go. That's the Maverick's job now. Uh, unfortunately, it's spending a bit too much in his breaching torch. Yeah. Like he might have done something else. Half. He might have done a, another hatch or something and been a bit low because of that. But either way, it's something you definitely want to make sure you're being efficient with. Mm -hmm. I'm running the, the holographic either. here on the Alda. You're not usually something you'd see because still the ACOG is so strong. There's a lot of long sight lines here where you'd like to deal with your opponents, but still, it is, uh, of course, a uh, personal decision. I mean, even without the ACOG, you've got 80 bullets to try and make it work. Very. So, uh, Maybe if you don't hit the guy with 80 bullets, the problem is uh, not yeah, I don't think I don't think the ACOG is going to solve that. Yeah, well, Revolt uh, is going to destroy as much as he can here from the kitchen. 
we allow the thermite to open up the hatch. We haven't really seen the hatch in kitchen used to too much of a dramatic effect. This is a lot more destruction though than we saw coming out from Black Dragons. This is more of an older way of doing it. A lot, a lot of teams now don't usually do it so destructive. But in this case where you don't have Habana, it is definitely a case where you want to really make sure they can't do anything about the Thermite Breach Charge so they can't deny it. Deny Blacks, definitely not going to be trying to do so. Yeah, just sitting in the back. Now usually what you see is like sometimes C4 being used, but a lot of times impact grenades, but here GDN doesn't really want to sacrifice any barbed wire for such a uh, bit of utility. Uh, there's not a ton in those impact grenades for this. FK1 though will find the kill on Iblax, and that's a huge kill. That's through one of the buck uh, destroyed floorboards, which yeah. allows them to take down not only a C4, but also huge bit of utility on the defensive side. One smoke is off the side, and he's going to try to find the player in the back. Oh, Suddenly, two. he'll find one, and the one in the back is down. Panico will finish them off. Two players for him. Revolts will get one kill. Two seconds left in the clock. The diffuser will get picked up. Is there a shotgun in play? Yes. Can he find the kill? Yes, he'll find one. Nitro Cell is still in hand. Do they have the info sent towards Ion? He'll try to play with the shotgun, but they're not sure of him. And Ion, oh man, Why this did you do that? He can't find the other guy who was actually alive, and Spawns will win out the round for Pain Gaming. He did not, uh, I mean, I suppose he killed the teammate so the teammate couldn't call him out, but at that point, you just gave yourself away <sighs> as well. There was holes in the wall. I mean, you could have been peeking. Maybe he thought that he was prone on the ground trying to find him and didn't really, you know, spot the guy that he already downed before. I don't know. Because he downed tricky. him through the wall. Yeah. So maybe he was unsure because, if I remember correctly, it, he just slid closer towards the bomb. But overall, that was... Yeah, that should have been Black There was C4 in the back. Off, but... There was C4 in the back pocket. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely should have been going for a throw on, a, on the hole, you know, right at the moment when you just come around, mid, like, ready to throw it, mid-throw, so that the teammate calling it out, it's too late at that point. Yeah, All he could do is scream C4. But, uh, I mean, I guess he'd hear the rip as well, but... It is unfortunate because he could have shotgunned the I mean, teammate. It was 0-0. Zero, zero. They had to plant. Yeah. So it's not like he could do anything about the, 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 well, that's the thing, at he, that point. I, he must have not seen that he downed the one guy. He must have not caught. Yeah. I mean, I know you're not going to get the notification, but yeah. he must have just not noticed he downed him. But I you feel hear, like we you saw, get the audio. I feel like we saw the body drop on screen mm -hmm. without the outline. And of course, for people that don't know this, in Pro League settings, um, you don't have the notification like the plus 50 points that says, you know, injured. Um, you literally have to watch your scoreboard to see that. You can, actually. Because, I mean, you still get the plus 50 points, you just don't see the notification for it. But if you're, if you're literally able to watch the scoreboard to see if you succeeded in something like that, uh, you're very, very good at multitasking. Yeah, you're not a redeemer. Not everybody's a redeemer. <laughs> Yet they still allow others to play Maestro and Echo. Nice Latin America, crits the Redeemer. It turns from a T pose to a face bomb. That's right. Now, well, GDN's now at the top. It's, it's odd to see the smoke fighting yeah. in this position. I don't think he's going to stay here for a while. Have someone with an ACOG be playing this. You have a Doc on your team. Perfect person to be playing this position. How did I mean, wait. that reviving can get you killed because you stand up automatically, but still. The Thermite very quickly goes in and destroys the, uh, the, the wall into Garage, which, in my opinion, is not that great of a thing early on. I think it's better to open up the wall on the balcony first. Well, yeah, because if, if you're attacking garage and you have you can't attack cash, it doesn't do you any good. Also, you know you have the maverick. So what you can do is how you know, guys, if if you've watched this map before and Havana is in play, then what you'll usually see is the Havana will use one of her Skyros charges to um, use it on the top side of the garage, and this way it allows you to get a line of sight all the way down into the window here close to the servers from the garage. You know, maybe using the Maverick in that way would have been a better option earlier on, as now over a minute and a half, actually around a minute and a half, I've already been expended, and the Thermite will go for a top-down dive, which is a much safer way yeah. of uh, using your charge. That whole play right there is why you see Maverick banned on this map, typically. And the wall is soft. Okay. It's again, it's just definitely more for that fluid level of play. It's just, it's it's a stylistic thing that if it works for your team, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, as Yeti mentioned. But GDN trying to fight too much again, he's gonna die. Panico though, hoping to keep control of the garage, oh. failing to do so because well, while Maestro is such a beast, it's still against the Nash. Great peek here from the Ash, just watching the second angle from the garage. Now it's a three v five. Of course, advantage. 
for Pain Gaming. They can just walk in whenever, and they have the smokes as well to back it all up. Hugsword will be forced to push, and he'll fight wow. two! Huge two kills on the outside balcony. Ion with one more shotgun in hand, though. Looks like the mute will push in, and he'll find it. Gabrielos is down on the floor and revolts. Suddenly the last man alive, and it was a 3v5. It turns into a 1v3. Ooh, Hugsword getting healed up as well from Ion. This is not working out for Pain Gaming at all. He'll have to walk up the grenade. Oh, oh, no. That might have been your, that was literally your Hail Mary throw there. Oh, here we go. Oh, the he dives right on him. Oh, I black. Did he get the five damage, please? <laughs> Trample damage, because you fell on your opponent. That yeah, that's sweet. That's what I refer to as there the you go. stop almost. Oh, man, that was, wow. that was some high flying maneuver 619 right there. Off the top rope, so you luck look up below. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, you'll be on the floor. Yeah. Well, a good defense from Black Dragons, definitely. I mean, I still question the smoke plays in the garage, but other than that, worked out fairly well. I mean, they I, I think they eventually somewhat backed off the garage, especially once they uh, they lost trying to contest it with Maestro. But the Jaeger kills, that was really what saved them. His ability to just get that run out. Well, I wouldn't even call it a run out because he didn't actually go outside. But uh, his counter to their push outside, the peek out, I guess, was definitely, definitely a nice play to see. Worked out quite well. So they can go back to uh, church now because they did lose it. So they didn't have to go to cash. I was thinking for a second there, like, wait a minute, how are they going back to church? It's like, oh, that's right, they lost it because they made the, uh, the misplay towards yes, the end. Yes, because the mute. Could, yeah. I mean, obviously in that situation, you're 1v2, but the time is on your side. And yeah. unfortunately, it was just, hey, there's a lot of pressure in that moment. Honestly, if he, if he had seen he downed him, then it was definitely the case where A, he should have finished the kill, and B, he should have gone for the planter, or at least baited around enough. Man, that's some big arm strength from the Meister just hit the RPG and split it up too. Right? Well, they do say that the operator is built up around myself, so... Can't All right, well, you'll have to demonstrate that on the stream sometime so we can see how it's done. Easy. Easy, Easy for Milos. Yes, well, uh, this is like a Russian accent for an Italian operator. Well, no, for, for Milos. Milos. I don't, I don't know how to say your name in a, in, in uh, it's which not language even my it's name. in. It's true. It's true. All right. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken as well, Milos means it's like love, love in Polish. Oh. So correct me. Yeah. Love you, beautiful. Well, Panico just holding off in the back here in blue. He's got ADS as well to protect him. It's a pretty good spot to be in. We've seen this so many times. Now, Payne actually used this very effectively by having one player in the armory that can instantly come in and back up the Jaeger that's playing in this position. Now, the Maverick is the one to watch out for here because yeah. Reaching Torch, of course, can allow you to destroy that extra, you know, the, the... Hmm. That is a weird okay. way to go about it here. Why? I don't know if this is actually the more efficient way no. to do it, but... Uh, no, actually, that, it is. That it is. Out. That worked out it fine. Is. That is 100 percent the way you do it. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I feel like it's just the amount of damage you do, regardless. But hard to say. Either way, does get the hatch open successfully, and again, that's it's breaking not, the maverick is definitely something we should have seen. It's definitely not the amount of damage that you do, because you no. can actually burn like three charges and still not be able to destroy it. I guess yeah, if you do it in a really weird way. It has to do with the uh, with the way that the struts are actually yeah. like designed around it. It's it's pretty interesting actually. Kind of like the the way you could do it with uh, there's some weird tricks you could do with the um, reinforced walls. Fortunately, maybe due to uh, some shots from above there, Panico getting down, he's going to get picked back up though. So not a big deal. Looks like they actually have that wall there op opened. Are they going to be able to open the kitchen? Oh, there, there we go. We have we have. Ooh. Shards that can be used, but it does not hit. That's the impact grenade that was set up by Eye Blacks. It's not enough, and Ions from Wow. That's a nice shot through. Okay, that. we'll find the kill on GCR. I'll take down the Ash. The spearhead of the attack is now taken out. I'm not sure if the Ash had any equipment to use later on in the oh, round. No, you gave it away. You had the advantage there. Panico. I mean, still at half health. You could still win the fight, but you didn't have to give that away because now you're the one who's kind of pinned down. Bomb located by. Oh, still alive. Of course, the Jaeger is mentioned. Blue will fire in, but Iblax will be the one to finish him off. That's a huge loss now. Yo, Not only do you lose the Maverick at this point in the round, but also, oh. Again, you need to clear ADSs. You know the, there's a Jaeger. The big part of using the Ma losing the Maverick in that situation is now you don't have anyone to hold the flank and push in from that side. So the Thermite's bringing Claymores. That's why they're not clearing the ADSs. This is so 
so on. All the smoke grenades have now been used in the back. Panic are running in from blue because there's no one to watch the flank. GDM will get one and Ion for the last one of the shotgun spawns will go down. Despawning from the round, Black Dragons will find the defense. I mean, they're looking pretty good on that. I mean, now they have to go somewhere that's not church or cash. This is this is the test right here, right? Because bedroom. No, I know, but I'm just saying like their choices aren't as great anymore. Yeah. Because church and cash are definitely better than gym and bar. Uh, I wouldn't. I would say 100% bar, but gym and bedroom, pretty good. Just, it, but really, you, could, you, you would consider it above cash or church? No. Exactly. Definitely be your third one. Now, That's back, what I mean. Back when it was, in my opinion, completely broken and you could very easily impact trick. Well, yeah, that, that was when it was good. That was when it was way too good. Okay, now yeah. it's still good, but it's because there's other options, you can't explore them. And this is why, you know, this map has three three sites that you can rotate through uh, pretty efficiently if you're on the defense. Yeah. And we'll and see. We've bedroom. seen teams, you know, fairly often lose bedroom, but it's like, it's not a big deal because if you're losing bedroom, that means you're winning your other two sites. So it's not a bad thing. To, I mean, it's not a terrible thing. But, uh, I mean, it's certainly nice if you can win. I mean, if you can win bar, that's great. But if you can win bedroom, that's also great. The, they will have the double heart breacher, though. And this is something that will make it extra problematic, potentially, to deal with this. Ten seconds left. Usually, though, part of what made it, you know, uh, doable before when there was the impact tricking was the Habana, which is now banned, but it doesn't matter as Attackers much anymore because you can't do the impact tricking. So, what can you do? I mean, maybe there's some kind of way to do something through the drone hole, but I I don't know. You'd have to, Maybe it'd have to be a weird uh, evil eye angle, something like that. Oh, there we go. One camera down. Probably not the greatest time to be staring through it when you know he's also looking for Indeed, it. Indeed, especially if it's not going to bring you much in the way of yeah. intel. That's when you kind of hop off it for a second. If yep. you go back to it and static, well, you know what happened. Ha. Now, the, the thing is here, um, there's a few ways of setting up in, especially the, the restroom that we see in the back, because, well, some teams will fully reinforce it. And some will set up the rotate. Yeah, some will set up a rotate. Some will just leave the wall soft, but not have a rotation until later in the round. Yeah. Gabrielos just finds a kill. And that was the smoke that was pulling off the rotation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the, the smoke because oh look at that the Maverick already already found the holes and of course there's the drone hole yeah. easy kill there to take down the smoke well not so easy but still important kill overall that's an impact frag right there yeah and when they're consistently bringing the Maverick you're not really getting a ton out of the uh, mute jammers outside of using them perhaps to stop the drones but you're certainly not going to stop the wall from getting opened is that was only a minute 15 in got it open just fine and in fact got a kill out of it from the thermite so. You know, watching the drone hole here, Ibox won't find anyone. Uh, Ooh, the instant he goes too. away, yeah, yeah, the instant he goes away, there's, there's all moving around. The Maestro even. Ooh, Panico, this position. Watching in from below, he should have been spotted. He has to rotate all the way back. It's a one speed, and that's not great. Gideon will find one though. Maverick's been taken out. GCR is at 50% health, and you see, Ibox set up. He's got Nitro Cell in hand in the bathroom. You can chuck up. You oh, they're all lining up. If only you had the It might be a hard angle to throw, though. Fortunately, he does find one, and uh, right. that's... Well, that's two down now in that hole. So they're going to stack up on that hole. They really need to be potentially pushing from cash, even put a little pressure on. Yeah, I'm not sure why everybody's just moving in from one spot, and he'll spot the shoulder, I guess, in the back, but not spray into it, though. Very smart here. Good control Ooh. from Iblax, but he fires into the Ash. He can't find the kill. GCR low on health as well. Not sure if there's a Claymore outside. Iblax, though, will not rush, and he actually finds the hit. GCR is down on the floor. Wow. And Pain will have to go for the pickup. Of course, Black Dragons do not know that. They don't have the information unless he dropped anyways. He can't get him down. What? Spawns rotating in from Strip Club, and he'll find the kill on Panicle all on his own. Now, Ion will rotate back. I Blacks will connect on a GCR. GDN will lose the fight against Gabrielos. They're peeking right into him. 18 seconds left on the clock. The fuser is in the hands of Gabrielos, but spawns seconds. on the opposite, and they'll need him to help him out. And Gabrielos somehow he'll find the kill. Ion still in the back. Nitro Cell available to fight from the construction room, and he'll find the kill. 1v1, three seconds on the clock, and Ion's smart play. He'll fall back, and they can't find him. Black Dragons will win the round here. Number 10 in hand, and there we go. He's still even hasn't found him there at the end. Wow. Well, that secures Black Dragons at least the one point, but with the way they've been playing and the fact they can now go back to cash, good chance they go away with the win, potentially here. 
as uh, I'm not seeing a good chance of pain coming back, but they did. I mean, they had some good plays that round, but they lost way too many people at that hole. And then, unfortunately, they just were not able to do a good job droning out and sectioning off the position of a lot of the defenders. You saw, for example, there was a couple of times where the defenders just repositioned themselves and managed to win. They, they just picked a different angle. As soon as they were spotted, they would fire and move and fire and move. And that was the smart plays there coming out of Black Dragons. They were able to do that. It was unfortunate they got caught out in the uh, bar. I imagine they were going to go for the pickup on the uh, the Ash at some point as well. So they were rotating around to do that. And can. he was going for the kill on the Ash, potentially. It, the thing that, that um, I found very interesting is the Maestro was off the site for so long. Yeah. Um, I, I like the idea of trying to peek in from the uh, from the tunnel. But do it with someone faster, right? I don't, and I mean, there was no one there to connect, uh, but you know, he went all the way back up. He wanted to fight the gym position from below in the uh, in the pool table. Yeah, I mean, it's not which a bad makes thing it, it is 100 percent a legitimate thing. The bailiff opened up the the yeah, angle, and the now they can just not have to watch the uh, the window uh, the window from uh, gym because Meister is supposed to do that. Yeah. Well, let's see how things go down this round. Ion setting up some angles here. Potentially has a, maybe the evil eye to be able to see through those as well, depending if he has one that's set up higher. No, he doesn't have one on, above the table there, but he could set one up if he wanted to and be able to actually look through that. But he's actually going to fight an interesting long angle. I like the idea he can fight towards the top of the uh, catwalk stairs there, all the way from back in the site. No one's really going to contest him from there, so that is a smart approach. Unless they're starting to push in from the bedroom side, not really going to do much about that. And, they look like they're going to go for the typical open up the server wall by doing what they did last time. And I, I appreciate that Maverick was being very careful about it last time. He didn't open up the whole floor. He just opened up just enough to take out yeah. the uh, mute jammers and move on. Like, right, you don't want to open up the whole thing just yet. You want to get the mute jammers out of the way and then uh, maybe open up a bunch of it as Thermite gets ready to sing, swing down from below and do his thing, which is uh, it's always nice that when Thermite Thermite can do the old upside down <laughs> Spider-Man breach. Now, what I really like is the fact that the Maverick is not opening up too much, as you said, but also that he's careful enough to open just the specific parts where the jammer would be. Yeah. Because anything more than that, and it opens him up to so much firepower or even nitro cells coming in into him. And this is really weird. The smoke and the mute are both holding off. Well, at least he's not using the, the SMG-11. He's trying to use the MP5, but he's the one taking it down. Yeah, the mute will be lost in the back, and he still has Nitro Cell, which would be exactly what he'd like to use right now. Spawns will find one as GDN's in the back. GCR just, you know, coming in from below. And FK1 will find it. GDN's down, and Ion at least will find the kill yeah. on FK1, just vaulting up on that, the table. The position he set up earlier absolutely paid off. Very much indeed, but was it worth taking the 30 damage no. and losing the mute and the smoke? If you're going to have two people up there, you don't need the angle, and if you need have the angle, you don't need two people up there. Especially if all you killed is the Maverick. Maverick already did his job. Yeah, and it wasn't even either of them that killed the Maverick. Yeah, it was definitely a uh, confusing play in terms of sacrificing two decent, especially late in the round with the C4 and smoke operators. But uh, Panico looking for any kind of claymore, seeing none, oh. seeing no drones as well. There you go. He'll take down the claymore. He'll go in for the kill. He'll find one, but not the second. Revolts from below, just taking a bit too long. Panico will go down. Great play they here, there here is. It did slow down Pain Gaming, and now it turns into a 2v2. Now this is the excitement that has definitely been awaited in this matchup. So the Buck and the Jackal are setting up to go. 20 seconds on the clock and all the pressure is on Pain Gaming. Not only the case for the... Oh, even harassing the Buck, getting a bit more damage done. The vault right over is Ion. Might just want to fire right in. No, he'll lose the fight against the Jackal. Spawn somehow still alive. Huxford will find one. Low on health is still spawns. He has to go for the plant. He has control, but spawns will find the kill and the Jackal will save the day and make sure that Pain will live to fight another round. Yeah, just barely in this. They still have the potential to go for the tie here if they can win one more round. I gotta imagine now, though, they can go back to church. That's where they should go. Don't fight cash again. The strategy for defending the catwalk is not really working out. You're not playing anyone with ACOGs. Nope. Are you Are you guys really gonna go back to cash? No. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. That was uh, definitely not the uh, not the play. The door is right there. Yeah. And I'm getting a call. That's not it, Chief. <laughs> they definitely. 
I mean, the cash room defense, the the maestro play on it is smart when they're playing the ACOG with that. But then putting two people without ACOGs at the top, right, right there, in a position where they're just, they're not going to be very effective on it. I mean, the MP5 is great when you has an ACOG on it, but when it's just mute, not as much so much. It just doesn't do a ton of damage. Yeah, which is why now we'll see the shotgun in play. Yep. Um, I, I think it, it, it goes a bit deeper than just that. I don't understand why both the Mute and the Smoke were playing upstairs well, yeah, especially the smoke. in the garage. Why were they playing there when they could just pee in cash where they yeah. probably should be? No, I mean, I, I know this is a region that will very often have roaming smokes. But guess what? Those are in situations where he can use the SMG-11 or the shotgun effective because he's often in close quarters. Say, for example, Dor yeah, Oregon. Yeah, top floor. Wag, yeah. yeah, WAG right. Oregon on the top floor. We watch it. And that's where, it makes, that's where it still can make sense. At the top of the uh, catwalk there, it just it doesn't add up no matter how you calculate it. The SMG-11 is just not going to be nearly as effective right there. Well, we'll see how Black Dragon's adapting this one. As of course, this might just turn into the third tie of the season right now. And, of course, the first one in Latin America. Would definitely be an interesting outcome. But Black Dragons can just end it right here right now and take those three points away is of course the only way for paying gaming to get anything out of this game is to tie it and get one point at the end of the day hmm and you really don't want to get only one point i know it's early on in the season but we've seen how one game lost or tied early on in the season has affected the teams at the top as the season progressed Okay, one's going to have to be careful because he hasn't used any of his torch yet. He's okay, already taking shots. Same with Thermite, who has yet to use his... I mean, I, I understand you have other people doing other jobs, but it's, I don't know if it's the best idea to be risking the life of uh, either of your hard breachers. But I guess if they get away with it, then that's okay. They're just kind of pre-firing a little bit, just trying to keep them at bay. But I believe it looks like the stock hatch was opened. It's possible it could have even been soft and they just bucked it open. Is, uh, was we I wasn't able to see if uh, Maverick a had been, been the located. one to do it, as it looked like Thermite had both his charges still in store. Yeah, Panic will watching. He's just watching the hatch here. There's yeah. no one's gonna push him through that. Now a weak part of Pin Gaming's attack is that they haven't really been able to secure that uh, just blue engine room. Yeah. Consistently. I, I mean, they've been they've been very focused on it this round. They keep going over and peeking the stairs to make sure they have control at least of the stairs, and you know, pre-firing the angle that they have a little bit better shot at. But either way, they are getting hatches open. They're getting some. Uh, they're, oh again, no! It seems like they don't understand the impact trick for that because they they're throwing it in a very different position. GCR in the meantime lose or I'm sorry, killing Ion. Ion losing his life, potentially trying to contest that. Might have even been going for a C4 throw. That was, that was a great kill there. Now, not only do you lose the mute, but you also lose a huge C4 that could have been great to have on Church. And suddenly, Church is basically completely open. Yeah, sure, you still have Hugsword there on the Maestro, but this allows FK1 to just disrupt his opponent so well. GDN on the smoke is playing inside of the tunnel as this uh, this round turns more and more in the way of pain gaming. Low on health as well as Iblox will go down. Still not eliminated, just DBN out. Find the kill in the ass? No! How does he do it? GCR finds it and then revolts with two more. That was a very swift end to the round going the way of Pain Gaming. And ladies and gentlemen, our first high in Latin America Pro League will happen play day number three. Black Dragons versus Pain Gaming, six to six draw, which you know usually will mean, oh, we won't have an interview, but we weren't going to get an interview anyways. Yeah. But. Well, it's interesting that Play Day 3 seems to be the day for draws so far for the region, so I'm interested in EU Play Day 3. Will they have their first draws as well? Yeah, we'll see. Good to see that as the, uh, of course, the week progresses as we're only in the start of our, uh, of our week. The start and also close to the end because that's what a super month is like. <laughs>